Hey Facebook, a quick weather update here for you. I'm in downtown Sylvania. I hope you'll flip on channel 11 to see some live team coverage here. Um, of course, the snow is done now and you may be seeing a little bit of sunshine. The skies are starting to brighten up here. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me, but the sky really starting to clear. Um, I'll flip that camera around seeing some pretty sunshine, but I am in downtown Sylvania. Road conditions have improved drastically here. This is Main Street um, in downtown Sylvania. Of course, shout out to all the crews working around the clock to keep us safe beyond appreciated. So thank you very much to all those um, who have cleared off the roads and kept us safe during the last 24 hours or so. And looking at these roads behind me, hard to guess that, you know, we got over a foot of snow, but Main Street here in downtown Sylvania improved drastically. Lots of folks out sledding, um, just enjoying the snow. So let me know down in the comments below there um, what you did today to enjoy the snow. Now, a couple forecast points as we head into the overnight hours tonight, it is going to turn drastically colder. Um, whenever the sky does clear out and the skies open up, up, um, we get these frigid overnight temperatures. So we're actually forecasting tonight to be the coldest night we've gotten this winter so far. How does a low temperature of negative six degrees sound to you? Hey, Jonathan, I saw your comment. Uh, we got Jeff and plenty of viewers tuning on in. Negative six, that's our overnight temperature tonight. Um, I'm actually gonna flip the camera around and show you what the sky is looking like right now. It's actually quite pretty. I don't know if you can see up there, but I'm at Main Street here in downtown Sylvania. Um, you can see the intersection of Main and Monroe. Just gorgeous to see that winter sky after the storm. Um, Jonathan, I got your comment. Linda, hello. Whenever the sky clears out and the sky opens up, we do see some very, very frigid overnight temperatures. Hey, Steve, saw your message. Hope you're enjoying that view of the sky there. I'm gonna flip the camera back around. Um, so again, tonight is gonna be the coldest night of the winter season. We could be dealing with a little bit of refreezing, some icy spots on the roads because of those temperatures rapidly falling tonight. Um, hope you'll bundle up as well. I've got my you know, wool hat on and still a little bit chilly here in downtown, a little bit of a breeze. And we're forecasting wind chills tomorrow morning to maybe dip down to minus five or minus 10. Um, so so Sarah, to answer your question, bus stop wind chill. Um, you know, if the kids are going to school on time, it could feel like it's five to 10 degrees below zero. Sam, yes, there could be a bit of black ice tomorrow. You know, the crews here in Sylvania have done a terrific job clearing off the roadways. Thank you very much. However, there always could be a little bit of black ice, especially on the bridges and the overpasses as well. Um, just a concern we got to mention this time of year, whenever those temperatures do fall um, so, so low. Angela, I saw your message, shoveled the snow off my property driveway. Thank you very much. Oh, William brings it back, the WTOL wallop. So on one of these live videos, we mentioned the fact that we need to do a snowball fight with the WTOL weather team. Um, I think that's a great idea. A few people put their money on Ryan just because he's six foot four and probably has a good arm, but I used to play baseball. So um, WTOL wallop to be tuned. Uh, we are looking at conditions improving again, Temperatures plummeting tonight. I don't know if you can see that sky, but it just looks cold. Um, although the sunshine sure is pretty. Road conditions here in Sylvania improving drastically. This is the intersection of Monroe Street um, and Main Street turned Holland, Sylvania, the further south you go. Um, looking at a few more of your comments. Saw your comment, Justin. Have a good day and thank you very much. Um, again, tomorrow morning, bus stop forecast. So it's gonna feel like it's five to 10 degrees below zero tomorrow. Um, we are looking at no more additional snowfall tonight. I know you're probably tired of shoveling, tiring of scraping off the car and all of that stuff. Uh, your back needs a break. I know it's it's good exercise to shovel off the snow, but you don't wanna deal with a foot of snow um, every week. So we are looking at no more snow tonight, but temperatures plummeting tonight. Again, minus six degrees. Gotta get back for my next live shot here on WTOL. Um, hope you'll flip on channel 11 for the latest first alert forecast. Also, we are still talking about more snow in the forecast. That'll be coming up on Thursday. Our snowfall on Thursday is looking quite a bit lighter, you know, more like one to two inches of snow. So if you are, if you do tune in and see that, it's not gonna be a repeat performance by any stretch of the imagination, but still a little more snow to add on to the piles that we already have. We'll have a good rest of your evening and stay safe if you're driving into work tomorrow. Um, and we'll have the latest updates on WTOL, thanks.